All right, it's January 15th. I just set up the CO2 right now. So I'm gonna do a video on how the progress looks in this tank. So let's talk about uh, my current tank. Uh, I'm still finding a lot of algae issues here. And ever since setting this tank up, I have not had much luck. Um, my substrate is um, eco-complete. I have a Fluval Planet Plus, I think it's 2.0. And right now I have it on for about six hours a day as I do have a lot of algae problems. I've upped it to eight since putting the CO2 system in and I'm also running the CO2 for about an hour before uh, it turns on about an hour before the light turns on and it turns off about an hour before the light turns off. And so we have some Java firm Windelove. These are mostly all easy plants. Um, some dwarf sedge with algae all over it. There's some um, uh, jungle Val, um, I think leopard or tiger. It's got the little tiger and the skinny. Uh, these are the Guigia uh, repens. And this is a red Amazon sword. It's not that red right now. It's covered in algae. And um, I think this is a hygrophila or some cryptosporalis in the back and some hygrophila. So we'll see how this does. Um, it'll be really interesting to see how these plants grow. Um, over time because I do do both liquid and um, root tap fertilizer as well but just haven't had a lot of luck I've always wanted to try um, CO2 so I finally got a system set up I've tried some of the tougher plants like Authorethia, Perniki and even s repens which are easier ones some of them just never have done well and this tank is not doing as well as my other tank and it could be because of the substrate because most of the other things are the same in the other tank I had um, a dirt substrate with about a inch of a uh, gravel cap so this time I'm trying equal complete um, but I've been struggling with the plants in this tank so um, it's the same light and everything else so we'll see what happens um, so yeah I'll check back in a week or two and you know we'll check the progress of adding co2 most of these plants have not really grown very much since I've got them and some are just not looking good um, the Liguigia is growing, but you can see the old one is, is um, the old leaves are full of algae and not growing as much, but there are new shoots, but most of the other plants are not really growing very much. I know crypts are very slow, but um, you know, we'll check the progress. I've had some of these plants for almost a year now and um, you know, just not much growth. And um, some of the newer plants have been here maybe two months, three months, but um, still not, not, a, not a lot of growth. So we'll see, hopefully the CO2 helps. I'm running about um, one bubble per two seconds right now. And, um, you know, I'll adjust it depending on what the dropper indicates over the next uh, several days. All right. And um, so we'll check back in uh, maybe a week or two and see how the progress goes. All right, everyone. It's been about a week. It's Sunday the 24th. And just giving you a quick update on how the tank looks with CO2. Um, at a high level, it's definitely um, helped a lot. We're seeing some new growth and for some of the plants. The algae has decreased significantly. Um, so yeah, it's doing what I was hoping it's do. It's only been a week. Uh, so let's get a little closer to the tank and look. So you see the droppers, you know, bluish green. So I could still add more CO2, but I've just kind of left it at this level for now. But um, you can see the uh, jungle vow tiger or leopard, I have to double check which one is uh, really growing, getting closer to the top. Um, this plant was growing pretty well beforehand though. So, but, um, yeah, and then if you look at the Liguigia repens, there's a lot of new green growth, um, and now some of the side um, roots and shoots are coming out too, so that's definitely improved. Um, if you look at the dwarf sag, you can see lots of new green growth. So this too has um, uh, really starting to take off, um, and you can see most of the algae is almost all gone now, and I haven't had not, I've not had a spot treated at all. Uh, the Nubius hasn't changed too much, so we'll keep an eye on that. That is a slow grower. Uh, the Amazon sword, red sword, you can see those purplish leaves coming up in the back, so definitely some new growth there. That wasn't happening before. Um, this plant was not doing very well. And the Jabba Fern uh, Windelov, not much has changed. I did add some more on uh, this rock here, but not much has changed. It's looking a little more greener though, that's for sure. And let's go to the... Uh, Hygrophila lancia. You could definitely see some new growth right here coming out um, at the top of this plant right there and also um, that one there. So this plant will look like it's on its way out, but I think it'll be okay. Um, the Cryptosporalis, um, not much there. Another slow grower, so I haven't seen too much there as well. Um, so these are all easy plants, um, but I did, um, so this dwarf sag I bought four years ago and still have it today, so I was able to 
have this plant survive from the move um, last year and it's still the same cutting so four years later same with this java fern this is also one of the very first plants i had four years ago um, so you know it's uh these things can last several years and just repropagate as well um, and so yeah that's the update after about a week i'll do another one pretty soon um, one thing that has happened is there's a big plant sale online and i couldn't help myself so i did order a bunch of plants so when those plants come they're going to go in here so you know i was planning to do a 30 day before and after but it's just not going to really work because i just had that impulse buy but um yeah so um here's a look at the next update all right everyone it is february 5th so it's been about three weeks since um i installed the co2 about 10 days since the last update that i gave um, in the previous segment of this video and you can already see that there are more plants in here I did buy more plants there was a sale and I couldn't help myself so I do have some Altharanthia reniki um, Hygrophila pinifata and then some Starogene repens um, we'll talk about those in a little bit and they were put in about 10 days ago as well so uh, let's start with the jungle vow leper, leopard and um, you can see it's grown quite tall. I have also put in the skimmer, uh, but it's grown quite tall um, and it's also spreading. You see it's starting to mix with the dwarf sag now. These darker green ones are the, the jungle vow leopard. Um, so they're definitely growing with the CO2. And moving to the uh, dwarf sag, you can see lots of new green growth. The runners are starting to spread a lot uh, for both plants. So, you know, I, I think it's pretty effective from what we can see so far. And uh, let's look at the Luquigia back here. You can see it's uh, very green, getting very tall, growing quick. So yeah, that's definitely having an impact on the Luquigia. Now the Nunius, Anubius Nana, it's a slow grow, but there's one big green leaf. So that's a new growth since I believe the last video. And then um, going to the Java Fern, Windelov, not, uh, you know, not a whole lot of change there. These are slow growers, so, you know, not as much uh, on these plants, but still looking looking good and, and improving. Um, going to the back, you have the Hygrophila lancia, and you can see the new growth starting on that. That is a medium level plant as far as care challenge. So um, seeing it thrive is a good sign. I was really starting to lose it. So it might have just enough for it to recover and and uh, make it viable and uh, be able to um, um, add more stems by, uh, by doing cuttings. And um, now we have the script, Crypt Spiralis in the back. Um, you know, looking a little better, another slow grower. Um, so, you know, we'll see. I am doing ferts twice a week, um, doing Aquarium Co-op Easy Green. And also I have some Seachem, or some, I'm sorry, Flourish Iron, uh, by Seachem, but Flourish Iron. Um, a lot of red plants in here. And I also do the Aquarium Co-op root tabs so i've been doing i'm gonna start doing four a month and see how that if that's enough so there's some root feeders in here so yeah that's what i've been doing um and you can see the new plants so you know i'll give one final update for this video which will be about a 30 day update see how it's going but i'm really happy with the results so far about what i suspected you know the plants really do a lot better with the with the co2 um as well as the ferts so yeah, I'm pretty, I'm really happy with it and excited. It's, it's kind of cool to play with it. So anyways, another update coming soon. All right, so you've seen the progression from when I had the, when I first put the CO2 in until now. Um, let's take a little closer look. You can see the dwarf sag is really green and really starting to spread and to shoot, send a lot of runners. Same with this um, jungle vowel leopard and it's starting to kind of mix in with the dwarf sag. The Altharanthia reniki is, is really growing as well. Um, the Liguigia has really hit the ceiling or the, the top of the water column. Uh, the Hygrophila, you can see a bunch of growth all over the place, really thriving as well. Um, the Stargyne repens have definitely grown a lot. They're due for a cutting soon. The Hygrophila lancia is, um, seem, to be, seem to do well as well. So it's starting to recover and really looking good. And um, the Crypt Sprouse in the back, it's a slow grower, but it's just doing just fine. Uh, the Java Fern, um, you know, I haven't noticed a lot, but you know, still looking pretty good. And again, another slow grower. Um, 
you can see the Amazon storage have lots of purple leaves that are the new growth, the reddish growth as well. And um, right there you have a little Nubia Sanana with a, a new leaf as well. Um, so, you know, I think we all know CO2 has a lot of benefits and this is my first time really um, using it. So in a month's time, it's made such a huge improvement and I'm not even, I could put more in. Um, you can see this is um, just barely green. So I could probably increase the bubble count, but I'm just, um, you know, experimenting and seeing how it does. It seems we do pretty well. I've also updated the, um, or I've done, I'm doing a lot more first. So the aquarium co-op, that is hard to see. The aquarium co-op, easy green. I'm doing about one pump a day now is that. I'm also pumping in a little bit of iron, maybe one or half a pump of iron in there. Let me get right now the flourish iron. And I also have aquarium co-op root tabs that I'm putting in monthly now um, with the new growth. So um, what I'm going to do is trim off a lot of the leaves. I'm gonna just cut down this Liguigi and replant it and um, yeah, trim off some of these um, um, leaves that have a lot of algae on it um, from before. And I'm also gonna kind of move some of this um, jungle bow to the back, but I kind of wanted to show kind of a holistic view of how the tank has progressed in a month with the CO2 setup. So I'm very happy with the CO2 art um, uh, regulator. And um, you know, I have my other tanks. There's another, that's really hard to see. There's another 29 gallon right here. I'm going to turn on the lights actually. I have other tanks in the making, a 29 down here. I have a 26 bow front that I need to polish a little bit, possibly redo the silicone on it. And over here is simply my uh, quarantine tank. So um, if time permits, there will be more tanks set up soon. Um, and the great thing about this regulator is that I can add more bubble counters to it. That's one reason why I chose it. So I'm super happy with it. All right, thanks for watching. I'm gonna do a trim and I'll show you one last video. All right, I didn't do a whole lot of trimming, but I did trim the big Luguigia down and, and replanted it here. I did move um, the leopard, jungle bow leopard um, to the back. I kind of try to keep it bunched in the back. And um, that's about it. And you'll see some those little bit of bubbles. I did spray a little bit of, or spot treated a little bit of hydrogen peroxide on certain areas to um, see if I can get rid of some of the algae. But um, let me know what you think. I mean, I think we all know that CO2 is effective. Um, it's kind of cool to see, um, you know, just in my experience, what it looks like and how much better it's been. Um, you know, I've never been able to keep, um, Scarlet Temple or Altharanthia Reniki. Um, the Star Genie Reppens is doing well and the Lancia is recovering. I actually messed up on some of the trimmings, but I think it'll be okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, leave any comments, um, about this and what you think so far and, uh, subscribe to the channel if you like my content. Talk to you later. Bye.